These two bolts are from a CZ452. This is the 22LR, and I'm using a 22LR CCI ammunition box to store them in, just about the right size and shape. I lined it with tissue paper. This one's off a HMR, a recent purchase. It hasn't fired many rounds yet, so relatively clean, but I know there will be some dirt in there as it hasn't been cleaned before. What I tend to do with the first few cleans, I'll use WD-40 as a pre-spray and then I'll either use something like Brunox or Napier. It doesn't really matter. Gun cleaner and lubricant in general do the job. But I first of all use the WD-40 simply as a flushing agent once I know the inside's clean, then I don't bother using it anymore. The one thing I do, usually because you can get a bit mucky, and if you want to handle clean things while you're doing the job, it's best to use a bit of tissue paper. First of all, I'll mention that when I store the bolts, I drop the bolt handle down, I simply grasp the body, turn the bolt from where you withdraw it, it's up, so when I go to store it, as you see, it's in the cocked and ready to fire position. All I do, grasp the body, drop the bolt handle down, and you can see the firing pin there. That means the spring's tension is relaxed. And I also make sure it's in that position for the first initial cleaning. First of all, what I would do is that little black button looking part there just a gentle squirt usually goes everywhere but with a bit of practice you can just get and it's not going to work oh it did just a little bit what that does gets some of the fluid starting to run down inside inside the mechanism in that bit of a a trough there, a bit more of a spray, you can see it disappearing inside the bolt and it's starting to drip out now. I also just a little bit at the join there for the bolt handle, just a little bit and generally to act as sort of a wash and the lubricant for the bolt itself down the main part of the body just let it run down and along here it runs down if any of the messes loose any powder residue just washes it away and then when there's a little bit of a recess there in those extractor lugs, just a little bit of a squirt, and again the other side, everything's all nice and wet. There's a small hole there, insert the tube in there, get some fluid inside the bolt itself. And this one's running fairly clean, so there's not much in there yeah there's not much muck in there at all so for me that's job done as simple as that and just store it back in the tin the uh, ammunition box any access on the outside will just run into the paper there Uh, with the 2 2. And normally you've been doing this with some Brunox. You can use your own, I'm just using Brunox. But again, let's just make sure the handle has been dropped down, the firing pin sticking out. Now, if I just raise that up, if there's any doubts. That gives more space for any muck inside to run out. 
but I don't think it'll need it just let that run down inside obviously with a cleaner and a lubricant it helps flush away the muck inside it helps to lubricate the moving parts inside and it helps to keep any rust away if there's a touch of moisture in there for any reason inside the bolt where the spring and the firing pin is you can't really see what's inside there and if there's any moisture it's just going to stay and rust is going to develop not a good thing for inside your bolt just means after a while eventually you're going to have to strip it do a very strict regime of cleaning and it won't exactly be easy work on something that's small and fiddly and if the corrosion is quite excessive you might even have to replace some parts There we are. Now, the inside of this bolt I do know is clean. The outside is clean. All the muck has been flushed away. The one thing that I do generally check for as well is at the end there, usually is a bit of a build up of muck give it a little bit of a wipe over, not much comes off, it doesn't seem very important but while the gun has been in a recently fired condition so any muck there is soft plus it's softened with any spray just give that a bit of a quick wipe over it doesn't look much but if it's left over time it's a bit harder to get off and you might start complaining about misfires and not understanding what's happening but if everything's all flushed like that lubricated cleaned and it literally is a two minute job then you can safely store it you know there's no moisture inside the bolt there's no moisture on the outside of the bolt and most of the muck the powder residue has been removed and next time you want to take the rifle out, it's there, ready and waiting for you. Job done, simple job done.